Hello everybody, my name is Kaysok, and today we are returning once again with Danganronpa. We are on day three of chapter two, and um, Mondo and Taka got into a uh, very literally heated competition in the saunas of the school. I really hope they're okay. I hope Mondo and Taka survived, yeah. Let's go check up on them. Worried about the two of them, I hurried to the dining hall more quickly than usual, and when I entered... <laughs> what are you talking about, bro? <laughs> what are you talking about, bro? What the... Yo. Hey, Makoto! Thank you so much for acting as our witness yesterday. Are they friends now? They've been like this all morning. They were all buddy-buddy as soon as they walked in. Feels gross. What? Feels gross? Hell no! Feels great, more like. This almost feels like sexual harassment somehow. Forget her, bro. A girl like her just doesn't get her manly bond. They are gay lovers, and I have no other way of seeing this. I ship them. You hear me? Friendship between men is stronger than blood. A woman could never understand. Okay, that's a little sexist, but well, ain't that right? What you just said, bro? That was cool as shit. I should get a tattoo of it. Without a doubt. No, bro, you mustn't. Your body is a temple given to you by your loving parents. So, um, who won the contest? Piece of shit. Who gives a shit? Got it. Yeah, don't ask stupid questions. What matters is that we both took part in it together. That's completely different from what you, what, from what you were saying last night. I see. Friendship between men seems very simplistic. Nothing like what I'm used to with girls. <sighs> yeah, for real. All throughout breakfast that morning, the room was dominated by Mondo and Taka's overpowering brotherhood. What are they doing that sauna last night? All in all, it was a pretty unfortunate experience. So what should I do today? Ding dong. Hmm, who could that be? Wondering who had come to visit, I opened the door and someone forced their way in. Who? Excuse me, Toko. T Toko, what's the matter? What's your Why are you problem? so surprised? Am I really that annoying? Well, I already know I'm annoying. I came here knowing that, so th that makes it okay. No, you're not annoying. I just wondered what was going on. I have a f favor to ask. I want you to go somewhere with me. And where is it you want to go? Well, well the library. Huh? Are you looking for a book or something? Why don't you just ask Byakuya? He seems he spends all his time in the library anyway. <laughs> Did, did I say something wrong? You, you're not a blabbermouth, right? This ha has to be a secret. I honestly have no idea what you're talking about, but if you want me to be quiet, I'll be quiet. <laughs> Let's go to the library. Okay, I got it, the library. Jeez, why so pushy? <laughs> quiet. Be quiet when you go in. Don't let him see you. She actually was starting to get annoying, but I did as she, what she said and gently crept into the library. Unsurprisingly, Byakuya was there by himself, absorbed in a book. He's here. <laughs> He's really here. Toko, are you alright? Honey, you seem to be unhealthily obsessed with him. Okay, Makoto, go talk to him. What? D what? Stop being so loud. Just hurry up and go talk to him. I particularly don't want to. He's kind of a bitch. You go talk to him if you want to so bad. I can't. I don't want to interrupt him. That's kind of crazy, yeah. Okay, whatever. He seems to be really focused on that book. Doesn't seem like the best time to talk to him. <laughs> hey, you. What are you doing back here? I hate even having to look at you. All right, fucko. Nah, so you notice me, huh? Naturally. Of course. Now hurry up and leave. <laughs> and take her with you. <laughs> hey, um, Byakuya? Remember how you said don't be a woman who dominates weak men? Be a woman dominated by a strong... Man. Oh, boy. <laughs> I never said that. Well, actually, I just thought it sounded like something you might say. <laughs> get out. Yeah, I think we should get out. Toko, save yourself the embarrassment. And go take a bath, you smell. Ah, oh, fuck. Don't make me, Don't make me say it again. Go now before your stench latches onto the entire room. Okay. Wow. 
he really dug into us. Well, he didn't really dig into me there. I mean, he did say that uh, the our the side of me doesn't bear bear well with him. But you, he really dug into her. Maybe he's in a bad mood. She seems super depressed. Did he really upset her that much? <laughs> Bianca had to go that far. <laughs> no, he's not really concerned about you. He told me to take a bath and everything. He must really care about my well-being. Hey, Makoto, what do you think? Think about what? Do you think Byaku and I would be good together? Well, now I don't really know. <laughs> That's true. There's no way to know. The distance between us doesn't change our love. Mmm, that's cringy. Because as soon as you realize your feelings, the love is born. That's how love works. Nope, nope. I am going to avoid that and take a drink of my melted fucking Slurpee. Oh god, it is actually like just completely melted into juice at this point. <laughs> Hold on. I'm taking my headphones off. I can't hear. Fuck, there goes my headphones. It's on the floor now. Oh well. Now, back to the matter at hand. Lady, you need professional help. If there were any here. But for the time being, I suggest that you fuck away from Bakia because he is not good for you. And he is not good for anyone right now. Okay. <sighs> there might come a day when you understand. Maybe someday. Well, bye. Bye! <laughs> ah, young love. Ah! Ba -ba -ba -ba. Who would ever guess you would go for someone like him? <laughs> But eager passion can also be scary. Sometimes that leads people off in the wrong direction. Yeah. <laughs> All of a sudden, I feel exhausted. Maybe I'll head back to my room for now. Certainly not how I thought I'd spend my morning. There's still some time left. What to do? Free time. Let's see, what presents do I have? I lost the underpants. Don't have any more glasses. Lost a thong. Still have a golden gun. Hmm. Maybe. I would like to get to know Mondo. So let's go take a let's go meet him. Yo. Hey, Makoto, what's up? Hmm. Should I hang out with Mondo for a while? Yeah, that's true. You're kind of weird, you know that. You ain't afraid of me. All wanting to hang out. Well, whatever. You want to go get something to drink? Yes, please. I would like a hard glass of scotch after what I just went through with Toko. Mondo and I went to the build dining hall and had some tea. Mondo and I grew a little closer today. Would you like to give Mondo a present? Yes, definitely. What would you like to give him? A golden gun? Hell yeah! Huh? I can have this? Thanks, man! Does that mean he liked it? Yo. Hey, Makoto, what's your ride? Huh? My ride? Wow. Yeah, man, your hog, your what? chopper, your motorcycle. Oh, uh, I don't ride anything. Uh, what? You're not a little kid anymore, right? And you still don't have a hog? Jesus God, Christ. you're such a fucking dweeb. Uh, sorry? Yo. All right, man, I'm gonna educate you. A real man rides Kawasaki, okay? That's what I ride. Hey, that's my nickname during high school football. And it's actually what my, uh, my channel name is based off of. k is uh, short for Kawasaki. Hell yeah. You ought to see it, man. The V-Twins got that monster power. It's like you're dancing. Of course, it ain't just for anyone. You gotta have the skill to handle it. You must really love your motorcycle. Stop hell yeah, around. I do. I'm a goddamn biker, ain't I? We're crazy as hell. Yeah, you're the leader of the biggest biker gang in Japan, right? Hell yeah. Damn straight. The Invincible Crazy Diamond Gang. You wanna come on a ride with us? The monster sound coming out of that straight pipe. Hot damn. Straight pipe? Why? Come on, you gotta know what a straight pipe what? is, right? It's like when something's missing, right? That's why that makes a monster sound. When it's got no muffler. So when the motorcycle doesn't have a muffler, right? Hell yeah! So you did know! Good! Then what's- then what's that? Then that's that! Next time we ride, you ride with us! That's true. Man, that makes me think back to when I first started riding. Yo! My big bro used to ride too, you know? His name's Daya. Daya? The, the, um, what, what, what's the name of his gang? He just said it, but, but, uh, I forgot. Oh, wait! Their names spell out diamond in Japanese. Diamondo. That is so fucking cool. 
Okay, I didn't put that together until just now, but that's cool. I love it. Together we're the Diamond Brothers. Everyone up and down the country knew us. What? Of course, I was always what? the cool one. The Diamond Brothers, that sounds kind of incredible. By the way... The first time I went out, I ended up at the back of the pack. Eventually the cops got us and they surrounded me. I was in some tough shit, man. Hey, damn it! So I pulled over, but when they came up to me... Well, let's just say it was a massacre. Massacre? Man, Mondo, you must be really strong. Stop of course, around. you can't like, wave the banner for our gang without that kind of strength. Ugh, shit. In a fight, they'll go for the leader first. Kill the leader of the pack, you know. That's why the other gangs come after me. So if you want to be the leader of the pack, you gotta be a tough motherfucker. Yo. You'll see what I mean when we go on our first ride. Get ready for it. Actually, maybe it's better if I don't get involved in that kind of thing. What are you talking about? I want- I'd, Hell, I'd love to go on a ride with these guys. And like I said, I don't have a motorcycle. I don't even know how to drive one. Hell yeah. Then you can ride with me. Riding with Mondo, but other street gangs target him first, right? No, no way. Hell yeah. Hey, I said get ready for it. Damn, I am pumped. I can't wait to get out of here now. Mondo left, apparently in a pretty good mood. Crap, this is really bad. Even if I get out of here, I might still be in real trouble. Mondo's a good guy. Maybe not by the law standards, and some morals can be shady, but he's good. He's got good intentions with friends. Dragging my anxiety behind me, I went back to my room. How much time do I have left? Nighttime, okay. Ding dong, bing bong. Alright, I think... Usually I like to keep it a day to a, to a video, but... Maybe I should continue moving on with this. Uh, make sure... Move on to the next day. It was pretty short. Oh, school announcement. Nighttime is quickly approaching. But before it arrives, yes. all students, please gather in the gym immediately. Oh. Emergency! Emergency! Did someone die? Gather in the gym. Why now all of a sudden? I really don't like the sound of this. I have a terrible feeling. Alright, let's go to the gym. Hey, Kyoko, what do you think of this? Oh, Kyoko, did you hear the announcement just now? Indeed. Yes. I don't want to go, but we don't have any other choice, right? Right. I can't imagine it's going to be good news, but it's not a good idea to defy him here and now. Goodbye. So I'm going on ahead. I really can't do anything except what Monokuma tells me. Hey, Hifumi, how come you haven't gone in yet? Why? Why is Mr. Naegi, don't scare me like that! Sorry, but we really should go inside. <laughs> no, don't go. You can't go. Mm -hmm. That's why my ghost- that's what my ghost friend is telling me. I don't feel good about it either, but we can't just ignore this. Damn, that's true too. I, I guess we have no choice. I have to go too. <clears throat> Asking us to gather together all of a sudden like this. What could he possibly want? Well... Indeed, what might await us this time? <laughs> He keeps things interesting, that's for certain. Um, How's that funny? Can't you smile like a normal person once in a while? Like how the housewife on a classic TV show smiles at the end of an episode? What the heck? There's something totally messed up with you if you can't laugh at a time like this. <laughs> Which of us is actually messed up, hmm? Huh? What's that supposed to mean? <laughs> Nothing in particular, just admiring, that's all. I don't want to kill anyone, but I also don't want to stay here living in blind denial day after day. <laughs> I was just admiring how you could live like that and still keep your sanity. What is this? Not in denial. <laughs> that reminds me. Remember how you kept talking about how the police or whoever would come help us? How'd that turn out? Seems to me there's no sign whatsoever of possible rescue. Well... That's just... Huh? I wonder what actually happened. Certainly. It's strange, that's true. There's no way the police wouldn't know about it. We're right in the middle of a major urban area. What? The police suck! Hmm. On the contrary, the mastermind may be just that powerful. Take control even of the police. Could it be? Oh, this might not be related, but then don't say it. <laughs> hmm. Nope, gonna say it. It's not like some it's about last mystery. night. It was near the main hall, just staring off into space. When all of a sudden, I heard it. Huh? You heard what? Hmm. A sound that I don't really know what it was. <clears throat> what kind of sound? Hmm. Well, like I said, I don't really know. But if I had to describe it, Could it, be? it was like a construction site, I guess. 
A construction site. Are you serious? I mean, I could just be making that up. I only just barely heard anything. <laughs> then you definitely made it up. M must have been the sound of the ocean in the head of yours. Say what? What you talking about, Toko? Oh? Okay. Whew, he's arrived. <laughs> what Hero heard wasn't the sound of construction, but it could have been an explosion! Huh? Yeah. Or maybe a machine gun! <laughs> that can kinda sound like a construction in a way. What are you talking about? What? Ha ah, ha ha! Beyond this point, my mouth is zipped, my lips are sealed, I am fully puckered. It's a secret little secret. And? Fine, then let's move on to what you can tell us. Why did you call us all here? Say what? You don't beat around the old bush, do ya? Ready for me to get to the point, huh? If you please. But before that, you mind if I vent a little? Mm. I'm low on energy these days, my stitching's even losing all its shine and luster. I'm thinking it's probably become of this ho-hum, boring old everyday life. I'm looking for something with a little more stimulation. Something rife with danger and intrigue. Yep. Listen, can I just be frank? Today, the next Blacken hasn't shown up yet and I'm getting bored! Hey. So I've um... decided to come up with a new way to motivate you. Motivate? This is another set of videos or something? Are you gonna show us some demented thing to try and drive us all to murder? Yeah. Drive you to murder? What a mean thing to say, just awful! You hear me? I don't know what you've got planned, but we're not going to kill each other anymore. No matter what you do, I swear to God, we won't. Hmm. hmm, that's very big talk. Do your very best to back it up, okay? Now then, with your permission, let me begin. So this time it's... Embarrassing memories and secrets. As long as you're alive, it's a given that there's things you don't want other people to know about you. So I did a little investigating of my own, and I dug up some of your darkest secrets. Oh, boy. And those embarrassing memories and secrets are all contained in the envelopes I have right here. Oh, boy. I'm going to hand them out now. So take a second to take a peek. What is my embarrassing secret? As Monokuma spoke, he tossed the envelopes at her feet. I quickly snatched the envelope with my name written on it. I nervously pulled out what was written inside. My entire body suddenly went rigid. Makoto wet the bed until he was in fifth grade. <laughs> what? Oh, the hell? How'd you find out about this? Everyone started talking at once. <laughs> you have 24 hours. If someone doesn't become blackened by then, Extreme. all your deepest, darkest, most embarrassing secrets will be exposed to the world. Maybe I'll roll by a crowded intersection in a van strapped with loudspeakers and spill the beans. <laughs> ah, wouldn't that be so embarrassing? So that's what you meant by motivate. <laughs> yep, you got it. They're all pretty unpleasant, trust me. None of you want me to reveal that stuff, right? It's definitely something I'd rather people not know, but... We never kill over something like that. What? I'm pretty sure I'm the most tame secret here. I'm sure there's more fucked up ones. Count He's right, your plan is doomed to fail. No one's gonna murder someone for this kind of thing. This is oh, kind of no. Correct. Is it because, for better or worse, your memory is still a way to connect to the outside world? I have stuff I wouldn't want anyone to know about no matter what, so I assume you'd all be the same. Which is why I put so much effort into preparing this next motive. Man, you're saying you really won't kill each other over this stuff? That just sucks. Well, what can you do? Okay then, in 24 hours I'll expose all your secrets just to make myself feel a little better. Okay. So sad, so depressed. Fear not well. With an almost convincing look of depressed de dejection on his face, Monokuma receded into the gym's depths. So, um... I didn't know what to expect at first, but maybe we dodged a bullet on this one. Um... I mean, yeah, having those secrets revealed is going to be totally embarrassing. But that's seriously not going to give someone a reason to kill, right? Listen to me. Uh, I'm guessing that it will. Good news, everyone. I have a brilliant idea. You hear me? Why don't we all just confess the secrets in those envelopes right here and now? Without a doubt. If we do that, any and all motive for murder will vanish. That's pretty smart, right? Quiet down and listen. Okay, so my embarrassing thing is, I don't want to hear your stupid story. What? Besides, I don't, I don't want to talk about it. 
I don't care what anyone says. I don't want to talk about mine. As for me... Neither do I. Not because it is unpleasant, but because it is impossible. Oh? Well, it's just human nature to want to hear it when you say it's impossible. Come on, it'll be good for you. <sighs> Absolutely not. Come on. It's okay, come just a little on. bit. Come on, come on, come on. Honestly. As I said. Here we go. Uh, don't push her on this, man. Hey! I said I don't want to talk about it, you human bag of lard. Say what? I told you not to push on it. I agree with them. There is no need to discuss it. <laughs> what do you think, Chihiro? Uh, I'm, I'm sorry. sorry. I don't really want to talk about it right now. But, but... but I also don't want to leave things the way they are, so maybe I can talk about it later. After I try my best to become strong, then I can tell everyone. So, if you don't um... want to talk, you don't have to. I'm not super excited to talk about it either. That's true. If everyone's that much against it, even if my bro's the one who that suggested it, I gotta say no. <laughs> well, that's okay then. Either way, if it's just a few secrets, I'm sure nobody's about to kill anybody over it. I hope you're right. A secret so bad you'd kill someone to keep it. Nobody's got something like that, right? <clears throat> okay, I'll stop with all the secret talk. But, each of us has 24 hours to get ready. Having our secrets exposed isn't going to be fun, but it's not like we're going to die because of it. <sighs> so, you know, um, don't do anything hasty. Wow. The way you keep repeating it kind of makes me worry even more. Oh, uh, okay, sorry. I know it's going to be tough, but... Ding dong, bing bong. Hold on. I actually have to tell Amber about this. Uh, she's a, she's a big fan of... Um, Taka, and I, I'm starting to become a big fan of Taka, and Mondo, too. I think I found my ship. <laughs> Taka X Mondo. Let's see if she replies anything back. She says she, it says she's online on Discord, but my friend, you are <laughs> enlightened. <laughs> Welcome to the cult of Taka X Mondo. <laughs> Ding dong, bing bong. <clears throat> Buckle down, homeboy. Oh, now I'm scared. Now PM. <laughs> I'm gonna type back. It is officially I'm scared. Nighttime. Hmm. Nighttime already, huh? All right, let's call it a day. Of course. Good idea. We need to prepare for tomorrow. But I was left with an anxiety I just couldn't shake. But we left things as they were and left things as they lay. One by one, we headed back to our rooms. Secrets are memories you don't want anyone to know about. A way to connect to the outside world. Honestly, all that crap Monokuma was spouting didn't have any effect on me. There's no way anyone would kill over stuff like that. At least, that's what I thought. But maybe I was just being optimistic. Which is probably why, without too much of a struggle. Jeez, I'm more tired than usual. Super tired today. I fell asleep. But what I didn't know is that even then, a tragedy was taking place. Boy, someone's gonna die. Someone's dying tonight. Alright. Monokuma Theater. A gun. Hey, do you have a second? I want to confide in you. It's about the prevailing world attitude right now. The difference between passive and active, I mean. For example, it's the difference between, like, Oops, I killed him, and, Yeah, that's right, I killed him. Amazingly, there are tons of people who don't understand the difference. Can you believe it? But there's a huge difference between, Oops, and that's right. You know what I'm saying, right? Anyone can kill someone in the heat of the moment, but surprisingly few can do it with calculated intent. To make that choice, then put it into action. It's way harder than just letting your emotions lead you. It's all about preparation. Resolve! So maybe you're wondering, what's the point I'm trying to make? Well, I'm not totally sure myself. Maybe you should try reading between the lines. Is the person going to completely fess up to their crime? Hmm. Morning. Good. Good morning. Good morning! Excuse me! <laughs> Nice reaction! 
I'm going. I'm glad to see you didn't disappoint. All right, I'm I'm gonna cut this episode episode off here before I move any further forward. Um, I hope everybody has a wonderful rest of their day, wonderful rest of their week, wonderful rest of their month, wonderful rest of their year, and of course, a wonderful, incredibly happy rest of their life, and I will continue this in the next episode. I hope to see you all there. This is KSOC signing out. Bye, everybody. Hello, everybody. My name is KSOC, and today we are back again with Danganronpa Trigger Happy Havoc. And we woke up with Monokuma in our room? It's chapter two, day four. And apparently a tragedy was happening happening over the last night. I'm excited to see who it is. 